This video will cover the topic signed fraction addition and subtraction. To add or subtract fractions, first we get a common denominator, then we add the numerators while keeping the same denominator, and then we simplify. Let's break that down. Every fraction is made up of two parts, the numerator and the denominator. The numerator is the top part and the denominator is the bottom part. In this example, 3 is the numerator because it's on top and 4 is the denominator because it's on the bottom. When adding or subtracting two fractions, it's important that the denominators are the same. If they are, then to add them, we add the numerators and keep the denominator the same, like this. These two fractions have the same denominator, 9, so to add them, we keep that denominator and add the numerators, in this case 4 plus 1, to get our final answer of 5 ninths. But what do we do if the denominators aren't the same and we still want to add them? Good question. Let's look at a new example. In this example, one fraction has a denominator of 6 and the other has a denominator of 2. To find a common denominator, we need to find the least common multiple of 6 and 2. The least common multiple means the smallest number that both 6 and 2 multiply into. The numbers 6 and 2 multiply into 6, 12, and 18. So those are all multiples of 6 and 2, but 6 is the smallest one, so we call it the least common multiple. Now that we've found that the least common multiple of 6 and 2 is 6, we're going to change the denominators of both of these fractions to 6. However, we can't just change the denominators and leave the numerators the same, or else the value of the fractions will change. In order to change the denominator without changing the value of the fraction, we must also change the numerator. Let's do an example. With our first fraction, negative 1 half, the denominator is 2. So to make it equal 6, we have to multiply it by 3. To keep the value of the fraction from changing, we must also multiply the numerator by 3, like this. And this gives us negative 3 over 6. But how is negative 3 6 equal to negative 1 half? The numbers are different. Imagine a pizza cut into two slices. And imagine another pizza cut into six slices. If you eat one slice from the first pizza, that's the same thing as eating three slices from the second pizza. In the same way, one half is equal to three sixths. Next, since our second fraction already has a denominator of six, we don't need to change that one. Let's rewrite our original expression replacing negative one half with negative 3 sixths. Now that the denominators are the same, we can add the fractions by keeping the same denominator and adding the numerators, negative 3 plus 5, to get an answer of 2 sixths. Okay, so is 2 sixths the final answer? This answer is technically correct. However, usually it's best to check if the fraction can be simplified at all, which means to see if we can rewrite it using smaller numbers. Let's ask ourselves if there are any numbers that both 2 and 6 can be divided by. In this case, 2 is the only number that they can both be divided by, so to simplify this fraction, we divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2, which gives us an answer of 1 third. So to add fractions, first we get a common denominator, then we add the numerators while keeping the same denominator, and then we simplify. Exactly.